expected that the major players uh, at a construction site will have their own safety manuals or safety handbooks and they should be made available to their employees. Take the case of a general contractor and we know from prior blogs that a general contractor must designate a person uh, with the responsibility for safety. And wouldn't it be helpful to get the acknowledgement that, uh, that such a person gave and signed that he or she had received that safety handbook, had reviewed its contents, and realized the importance of it? I suggest, of course, it would be very helpful, relevant, and lawyers like to say probative. Well, what about that safety handbook or that safety manual? You want to get copies of every safety manual that was in effect from before the accident, of course, during the accident, of course, and even after, because it could be that changes were made in contemplation of your client's accident. Now, what about if a safety provision or principle was violated, was not followed, not adhered to, not abided by? In that instance, what is the significance of that failure to conform to the safety principle. It is well settled in Massachusetts, it is well settled in evidence law, that a violation of a safety provision, a company's own safety provision, is evidence of negligence. And we've seen that with violations of laws, violations of regulations, that a judge will instruct a jury, and your lawyer can argue this in a mediation or otherwise, that there has been a violation and that that is to be considered as evidence of negligence. Now, sometimes it is said that you cannot uh, charge a company with uh, not adhering to a particular provision of, of safety on their part. But it is evidence, and the courts have said this for over 100 years in Massachusetts, it is evidence of what the defendant thought was significant, what their state of mind is and what they thought was necessary for safety. So that handbook, which hopefully will have been acknowledged by some of the leading players in, in your construction accident litigation, that handbook may well offer you an opportunity to say, hey, there is negligence there. Thank you very much.